So this is an anterior shoulder dislocation and um, we're going to go ahead and do the Kona uh, push-pull method on this uh, shoulder dislocation. She's had six of morphine and also injected 20 ml of lidocaine intra-articular for pain control. All right, so I'm gonna have my hand pushed on the acromion here. And I'm gonna come, I'm gonna slowly move it to like 90 degrees. And Okay, let's, let's see if you can move it around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel better. Can you tell me how this happened? So I was in an altercation and I was thrown against the wall and then I was getting thrown against the counter and then I fell on the floor and then that's when my shoulder popped and I felt it pop. Okay, all right. And then the procedure that we did on you, um, how long did it last? I would say like 30 seconds to like a minute, the most. Yeah. Like it wasn't that long. Yeah, and how much pain did you feel? Before it was like a eight, like nine, but now like after, like during it, it was like a like a five or six. It didn't hurt that bad. Like yeah. it, it stung, but it ended. Yeah, it yeah. popped right in. Yeah. So okay, are you okay uh, if I put this video on YouTube? Oh yeah, that's fine. I, okay. I my that's okay. Fine. All right. Thanks so much. Of course. All right. This is my model. The humeral head is normally like this with an anterior subcorpoid, anterior dislocation that comes in under here like that. Okay. Typically it's reduced by pulling traction on the arm. The problem with this is the scapula floats on the posterior thoracic wall. The only bony attachment of the entire shoulder girdle to the body is through the AC joint. So when you put traction on the shoulder, to try to reduce it, you pull them both out at the same time until finally you pull the humerus out further away from the body than the scapula and it goes back in place. There are a couple of other techniques, but basically traction on the humerus pulls everything out and when the humerus wins the race over the scapula, it comes back in. Obviously, the key to re reducing an anterior shoulder dislocation is scapular stabilization. And the key to scapular stabilization is this structure right here, the acromion. It's sticking up in every anterior dislocation waiting to be put to use. And it's rigidly stuck to the scapular spine of the scapula. You grab the arm and you put the forearm in the anocubital fossa and up against your chest, add up to about 90 degrees. Here's the acromion that it's very, very prominent in everybody, even people that are heavy. Put the palm of your hand on the acromion, that stabilizes the scapula, push it to the midline while you pull the humerus laterally. It's a push-pull, just like that, very quick. Sometimes you can try to work it in this like this, but usually it's one quick pull, push-pull, and it goes in properly. Thank <laughs> you.